So regarding the last video that I made that I was showing you guys parting out stuff, the reel to reel that I took apart, uh, four items sold. We just listed them yesterday. All the parts got listed. Um, mic knobs sold, speed control knob sold, reel to reel uh, assembly sold, and the Sony head cover sold. Um, 1495. $24.99, $39.95, dollars dollars $110, and I still got a ton of parts left. Hey guys, Pete over here, Craigless Hunter. Today is Sunday, July 30th. Oh, just sold something. Um, July 30th, end of the month. Actually, we got one more day, but it's Sunday. I'm enjoying a gorgeous, beautiful day. 79 degrees on my patio here, but I figured I do again one of these videos that uh, It seems that you guys really enjoy them. Uh, I show a few items throughout the month that sold um, And this time I want to show 10 items pretty cool items Unusual and what they potentially can bring um, There was actually a couple surprises for me as well how much money uh, I got out of the some of some of the items here, and I will also tell you what I paid, what they sold for, what was the shipping cost. So uh, let's get into it. All right, guys. So let's go over some numbers. Uh, hopefully, my neighbor is uh, started cutting his grass just a few minutes ago. Hopefully, uh, the audio won't be interfered too much. But if it does, then I'm gonna just break it. Um, so what we did last month, we sold 290 items. Um, I know we still got one more day to go. Today is July 30th, but you know, no big deal. Probably a few more items. Sold for 36 grand, 290 items. Um, so averaging about $120 an item, which is pretty good for being the middle of summer. Um, usually summer, you know, dies down a little bit, but it's been pretty damn strong. June, July, so far so good. Um, and I usually never tell you guys what we spend. We spent just over $9,000 on all the merchandise that was listed uh, throughout July. So, and a lot of stuff is still listed. Obviously, we average between like 400 to 500 items that are listed all the time, uh, and about 300 of them sold. So let's get in. Uh, let's get into these 10 items that I think are pretty damn cool. All right, guys, so first item I'm going to show you, very cool and exciting. Never bought these before, never sold these before, so it was kind of exciting to see what they're going to bring. Adidas, and they're called Muhammad Ali uh, Limited Edition High Boots from 1960s. And actually, on a picture, when you're looking over here, it looks like they have the white stripes on them, but they were actually gold. It's just the picture... How it came out it looks like they're white um, we paid 10 bucks for them list them for a hundred dollars there was not many comes that we can go off on these they don't come up for sale very often so uh, so it was just you know kind of unexpected that we there's a couple that sold like in 50 60 dollar range but these were actually in very good condition and we list them then for 99.95 with 16 dollar shipping and they sold like within a couple days. So uh, great find. I don't know if a collector bought them just to have them or somebody actually gonna wear them. Um, they were overall in very good condition. So very, very cool find. All right, I think this is a pretty cool item. I talked about these before. This one I picked up at Goodwill for $2.99. It's a, a vintage two-tone blue and white bowling bag. Um, you know, bowling bags sell very, very well, especially the vintage one. Uh, not a huge money maker, but still, you know, three bucks, forty dollar return, with thirteen dollar shipping. And this one has at the bottom this rack that it's mounted, so the ball stays in place. Uh, very cool find. Um, anytime I find them, but they have to be in good condition. They can't have like rips and you know holes and stuff like that. So this one was very, very good condition, I would say. 
um, and it sold relatively quickly too maybe took a few days to sell this bag so uh, great find this next item here I almost didn't buy it this came into my shop um, it's a bamboo fishing fishing rod made in Japan definitely vintage probably from 50s maybe early 60s the thing was the box that it came in with it was in horrible condition it was missing the top on it the sides of the box when the rod sits in place were cracked both front and top but the rod was actually overall in very good condition um, not many of them again were uh, out there on eBay for us to compare the price uh, I think there was only one that was in very good condition including the box was in great condition that sold for $50 and the guy came in and he wanted originally like twenty dollars for it and because of the box I offered ten bucks he agreed so I bought it for ten dollars not a huge money maker it's just cool stuff you know I like selling stuff like that because I am myself fishing you know collector I collect a bunch of different lures and rods and things like that so you know I know quite a bit about them nothing special about this rod rod the only thing really that it's that it's vintage and overall good condition by itself um, sold for sixty dollars it took probably about two weeks to sell um, just one of those different unusual items so when, there is some bamboo rods that will bring crazy money so you definitely have to look them up um, because there's some that will just bring peanuts so you got to know kind of what you're looking at and it's not hard to do all these rods will have markings on them names model numbers so they're not very hard to look up now this is one of my favorite items that we sold this month i think i it's super cool i love stuff like this um they're not easy to find Within the last year or so, we sold two of these. Uh, I sold a round ball TV, and we also sold a JVC that was a yellow color, uh, a little bit bigger than this one. This is a Sharp. It's pretty rare to run into them. This is early 70s era. It's got that retro look. That orange color is just popping at you. Um, People love this, and this was an instant sale. Like I mean, like within an hour, boom, it's gone. Um, we paid ten bucks for it. Fully functional, cosmetically very good condition. Um, I just love selling things like that, you know. And it wasn't that big. I mean, in the picture here, it kind of looks big, but it's probably about you know 12, 13 inches uh, uh, wide. And with the stand was probably another 12 inches tall, maybe 14 inches tall. So it wasn't a big deal to uh, pack it and ship it. Of course, double box. Uh, cool item. Sold for 160 bucks with $20 shipping. Uh, we paid $10, like I said. It just so cool. Things like this, sometimes I want to just bring home and have it sitting at my place for a little bit and then maybe resell it. Um, just love things like that you don't you don't find stuff like this it's just hard it's just hard to find it in that kind of condition so very very cool and somebody was asking me in comments a few days ago um, do old TVs still sell yes this kind of TVs sell all day long small uh, Sony Trinity run with the boat knobs on the top to switch channels they still sell but just the small ones nobody wants to buy your 32 inch Sony TV trust me but all these little ones yes they're hot sellers especially in these crazy colors now here we got a vintage uh, Kenner Star Wars Dead Star Space Station um, you know market is a little bit flooded right now with Star Wars stuff um, but the the vintage stuff still sells pretty good although it's kind of hit and miss you never know a market is like this on Star Wars um, this one we paid Ryan actually paid up no I think Adrian bought this Adrian bought it for fifty dollars and we originally had it listed for two hundred bucks I had a lot of watchers a lot of views on it but no bites um, so we lowered the price to 150 because most of them were in that range between like 130 to about 160 dollars um, 
everything was in this box like it's supposed to be none of the pieces were missing but the box itself was in pretty rough and bad condition so you know market will dictate what people are willing to pay and and if there's enough of certain item and you if you go high with your price you're just not gonna get it so we had to lower we lowered the price from 199 to 149 and sold within a couple days like i said star wars it's kind of hit and miss so we did have little money invested in this 50 dollars sold for 150 with 25 dollars shipping cool item though i mean it's just still cool um you know star wars stuff you know from from 70s and 80s um ton of collectors ton of collectors that market will never go away it is like this but it will never go away this huge following all right this next item here we have no money in it literally no money in it at the beginning of the video you guys saw the the parts that i sold from uh from the reel to reel that i took apart right and then i i'm selling for parts and actually quite a few more parts already sold since that little clip that was shot but this came with that reel to reel this is 11 scotch uh pre-recorded uh, reels that came in with it so i basically have no money in it i mean we paid like ten dollars for that re non-working reel, reel to reel and this was part of the deal most of the stuff that was pre-recorded on these uh was like jazz uh and classical music and stuff like that took a little bit to sell uh we listed this probably about three weeks ago and two maybe two no about three weeks ago so it took about three weeks you're just waiting for the right buyer that wants that kind of music but uh used reel to reel tapes sell they just sell and just gotta wait 14 dollars shipping sold for 60 bucks and like i said we had hardly anything in it so cool sale so here's a very interesting item um and i was actually surprised when uh, my guys bought this it came into the shop they paid 100 dollars for it it was new still had tags hanging on it on the tail actually you can't see it here on the picture but it's a rocking kangaroo i mean this thing was pretty damn big we had this in a shop probably for about three months, I want to say. Maybe even four months. And no bites. Uh, we paid up for it. We paid $100 for it. It was in great condition, like, you know, brand new condition. So finally, after like four months, we decided this, this thing has got to go on eBay. We got to get rid of it. Um, yes, it is big, difficult to pack and ship something like that. But it sold instantly. Um, sold for two seventy four ninety five with forty dollars shipping, and I think it went to Georgia if I'm not mistaken. Um, and the shipping was right there, so it's just unusual item. You don't see rocking, you know, rockers like that, uh, kangaroos. Um, kind of cool. Really like that item. Now here we got an item that I bought actually a lot of six of these. I paid $80 uh, for all six different dolls and as you can see here right on the box it says uh, Spirit, it, that company that always a month before the Halloween set up their stores selling costumes and different you know Halloween uh, accessories and things like that and dolls and scary stuff and the guy came in and had them all sealed in a box, his boxes were rough, beat up and uh and i agreed on a price for 80 dollars for all of them from him and we sold already i think four or five of them so the halloween obviously is approaching but the halloween stuff surprisingly sells all year long it's a good strong market especially from spirit because remember these stores only set up for one month out of the year you know like 30 days before the halloween so um so these are good sellers. Uh, Twenty dollars shipping on this one sold for 105 bucks. Um, yeah, I like selling things like that. It's different for sure. And this item right here, uh, Ryan actually bought a lot of uh, 15 different games. There were some Sega, some um, Nintendo 64, uh, like 15 or 16 games. He bought it for like 20 or 25 bucks, and uh, just one big bundle. 
and then he was going through the games and one of these which is right here turned out to be a real money maker and sold also instantly sold within one day um, listed for 100 bucks with uh, seven dollars shipping so we basically had just a couple bucks in this game um, yeah you never know when it comes to these vintage games you know some of them will bring really really good money and this one had original booklet in it the case was in great condition the game we fully tested it was in very good condition as well so um, you know there's definitely money in vintage gaming there's no question about that all right guys this is gonna be my last item I'm gonna show you today um, I really enjoy and I like selling uh, musical instruments this is Selmar Aristocrat AS6000 saxophone with the soft case um, it, this is kind of beginner saxophone so there's nothing special I paid hundred bucks for it sold for four hundred dollars with twenty dollars shipping but these beginner um, saxophones and trumpets they sell really really good because they are pretty expensive when they're new this is probably about eight to nine hundred dollars uh, new so when people wanted to get in get into you know start playing and enjoying these these instruments they look on eBay right because they're not sure if they're gonna like it so they sell really really good um, back in the day I used to dabble a little bit trying to play saxophone I suck at it completely uh, but I know enough at least about the instrument what to look for this was in a pretty good condition few scuffs and scratches but nothing that would uh, that would destroy the value of the unit sold pretty quickly sold within a couple days like I said 400 bucks with $20 shipping all right guys so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed it I picked kind of cool 10 interesting items that we sold like I said earlier we sold almost 300 items this month but these 10 were pretty cool and unusual. Um, go out there, hustle, leave some comments below. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Till next time, cheers.